Hey my dudes, <clears throat> I got some more Yeti cups. These are the uh, 16 fluid ounces. Um, so I have the 10 fluid ounces Yeti cup as well as the 20 fluid ounces Yeti cup. And the 20 fluid ounces and the 16 fluid ounces look very similar, don't they? Except the one is a little bit bigger. The 20 ounce obviously has four more ounces. Um, so let's go ahead and open this. Um, so if you don't know, in America, the, the, the serving size for a small McDonald's soda or whatever is 16 fluid ounces. Medium at McDonald's is 20 fluid ounces. So if you were to go to McDonald's and say, give me a small sweet tea, you'd basically be getting um, this size of Yeti cup, 16 fluid ounces. So let me let me show you my little ham hams, my little buttercup sandwiches. Hey Google, what are the cup sizes for McDonald's? According to ru.pinterest.com, at McDonald's, the cup sizes typically range from small to large, with variations depending on the specific location and country. The smallest cup size is usually around 12 ounces, while the largest can go up to 32 ounces. Opting for a smaller cup size is ideal for those who... Okay. Well, when, when I looked it up earlier... Hey Google, how many ounces is a small uh, McDonald's drink? According to ru.pinterest.com, at McDonald's... The okay, whatever. So, this is like a small McDonald's cup. Now, you have to ask yourself when you buy these Yeti cups or any cups in general, um, do you ever ask for a small drink at McDonald's or does your brain instantly say, that's, I, that's too small, I want, I want more than that? That's what I should have asked myself when I was getting these Yeti cups. Uh, so when I got like the 10 ounce, you know, I should have been, you know, I should have done my research. Uh, same with the 16 ounce, I, you know, I, I should have been like, when I go to McDonald's, I typically get a medium. I don't usually get a large because I know a large is pretty excessive. I know medium is basically just right. Um, unless like I'm going to a fancy drink place and I want a shit ton of it but um that's like 30 ounces for a large at McDonald's hey Google what is the drink size of a large at McDonald's according to Capnos a large soda at McDonald's typically contains 32 ounces yeah. this is for the fountain based drinks such as coca-cola sprite and other fizzy drinks yeah so hey Google what is the size of a medium McDonald's drink According to Fox 29, according to BuzzFeed, McDonald's cup sizes in the U.S. are about 16 ounces for a small, 21 ounces for a medium, and 30 ounces for a large. Many of McDonald's beverages, including Coke, Sprite, and Doctor. So I think it's kind of funny. I think they literally sized these Yeti cups based on McDonald's <laughs> or some other reason. They're all 16, 20, 30 ounces. Um... So, um, now the thing is, you know, when you want some water, my dudes, um, I kind of see it in a little bit of a different way also. Um, but I think 20 ounces is the most logical one to get. Because, again, when you go to McDonald's, you get an icy drink that lasts a particular amount of time. Um, but again, if you have a, a, a cup that extends the lifespan of the drink by preserving the coldness, then, you know, 30 ounces makes the most logical sense as what you would want, which is, I think, the reason why when you get a lot of these cups, they're usually really, really big, like 30 ounces. Um, so... My logic was I did not want a big, huge cup that you take with you outside. I wanted something to replace, like, a glass of water. 
I, w- I was doing all this thinking, like, how, h- what is the frequency of me sitting in this room? And usually, I, I don't, I, I have to do things throughout the day, like I have to leave this room. So, my logic was, I'm going to get a cup that only lasts an hour or two. Um, but that turn, you know, I don't know. I was just coming up with this, all these weird reasons why I would need a particular cup size. Also, before I got the water purifier, I was using water jugs, pu- purified water from the store and big water jugs. And one of our problems was we were wasting water. We would be get constantly opening 16 ounce water bottles and only drinking half of them and then letting them sit there until they got warm. And then we would go back downstairs and get some more cold ones. So what ended up happen is, happening is we would have water bottles all over this room uh, with only one or two sips taken or half of the bottle drank, which is a, a serving size. Eight fluid ounces is a serving size you know, that people typically drink at a time. So we had all these 16 fluid ounce water bottles where we only took a couple of sips or we only drank about half of the bottle, eight ounces, and then we just let it sit there uh, and it turned warm. And then we would go get another cold 16 fluid ounce disposable water bottle out of the fridge. So the next thing you know, we have water bottles all over the room with either one or two sips taken out of it or half of it drank and having to throw them all out. So I was like, this is 10 fluid ounces. This should be about how much we drank at a time. And then we can take it back downstairs and fill it up much later on throughout the day. And um, that was my logic. But in real world practice, um, I found myself drinking an entire 20 fluid ounces throughout the day. Um and refilling this maybe once or twice throughout the day, um, the, t- the 20 fluid ounce ones. So I would only go back downstairs with this, you know, a couple of times throughout the day. Um, so now I have these 16 fluid ounce ones. Now the 16 fluid ounce ones, I got them in pink. I mainly got these colors, to be honest with you, because whichever ones shipped faster, whichever ones I would get the soonest. So the white ones were same day, the the black ones were same day, and the pink ones were the soonest I could get them as well, but that was like next day. Um, And if we look, this color pink seems to be the same color as this controller about. So this seems like a common pink color. It's about the same color. About the same. Maybe slightly different, but it's about the same. Um, Now, uh, I'm going to fill these up. Um, I recommend you get the 20 fluid ounce one. And then ask yourself, do you drink most of it? You know, do you, before it's warm, do you, you know, by the time, you know, like, does it get you through the day? kind of thing. And again, if you have like a water purifier, again, I was trying to be stingy. I didn't want to waste water. I didn't want to have to throw out water. So I wanted people to drink the whole thing. You know, I didn't want people to refill their water canteen thing uh, throughout the day and have to like dump out a bunch of water and pour more water in. Um, So I wanted one that, you know, people would drink the whole thing so that they're not frequently dumping out warm water old water uh, to put in more and I think uh, for sitting at the computer for long periods of time the Yeti 20 ounce is perfect Um, now when it comes to the 10 and 16 ounce um, the 10 ounce I I plan on like leaving them downstairs by the dining room table so like an emergency water or something or while you're eating, I think 10 fluid ounces is usually enough for one sitting. And then you can refill it and put it back in the fridge. This 16 fluid ounce one, I don't know. Maybe if you, you know you're going to drink more than 10 fluid ounces, you could grab the 16 fluid ounces. But I think it makes sense because like, you know, you don't want to put it back in the fridge half drank. 
you know, you want to rinse it out, put fresh water in it, put it back in the fridge. You know, I don't want, you know, a bunch of used Yeti water bottles in the fridge and you grab one and you're, you know, drinking a used uh, bottle. You know, I want people to drink all of it. So Yeti, 20 ounce, sitting on the desk, up upstairs in the, the gamer room, the 10 fluid ounce, you know, if you know you're not going to be drinking that much water at, like, the, the dining table when you're eating. And then maybe 16 fluid ounces if you think you're going to be drinking a little bit more than 10 ounces, but less than 20 ounces. And, you know, so I think th th this is good, maybe, to have all these different sizes. But I do think the 20 fluid ounce one is the the way to go out of all of these. And the 10 fluid ounce one is kind of cope. But, you know, I think actually this could actually be very beneficial to have these sizes. I know the 10 fluid ounce one is frequently returned. Because I know a lot of people who probably buy these, they only want to buy one. They're not buying a bunch of them like I did. Wasting a ton of money. But then you would have to carry the 20 ounce all over the place. Which I don't think is that big of a problem. Um, you know. And be like your dedicated Yeti cup, 20 fluid ounces. And again, like if you travel with it, maybe take it out and about. Maybe get like the 20 fluid ounce with a handle or maybe the 30 fluid ounce if you're going to like be carrying it around with you outside, you know, when you're going to the stores or when you're traveling. And when you're at home, if you just want to have one huge big one, maybe 30 plus, you know, fluid ounces. Like a large McDonald's. Um, but I think 20 is, is pretty good. I think this is the main one to get, to be honest. I'll see you guys later, alligators.